Hello, Blue Jays fans. After an exciting yet ultimately disappointing season, it's time to explore the challenges and decisions awaiting our beloved team this offseason. But before we dive in, if you're a Blue Jays fan, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to our channel to receive more news about the Blue Jays. Now, let's get started. Challenge 1, Figuring Out Third Base One major puzzle that the Blue Jays face is the gap at the third base position. With the potential departure of Matt Chapman, our 26-man roster needs a quality replacement. While we have promising players like Kevin Biggio and Davis Schneider, it's unclear if they can handle the role for an entire season. Prospects Orlvis Martinez and Addison Barger have shown potential, but relying on rookies for a World Series run is risky. The free agent market for third baseman isn't very vast, making the competition fierce. Teams like the Cubs, Yankees, Giants, and Diamondbacks are also seeking solutions. Challenge 2, Navigating the Payroll, Managing the Payroll is another hurdle. The Blue Jays have consistently increased their spending over the past two years, but this rapid growth may slow down in 2024. Team CEO Mark Shapiro noted that he expects the Blue Jays' budget to stay in the same range during his end-of-season press conference last week, indicating that the Jays will likely maintain a budget close to the $209 million they started with in 2023. It's a high number, for sure, ranking 7th in baseball. But this will force Ross Atkins and his team to get creative this offseason. Given significant projected arbitration raises for players like Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Jordan Romano, and others, much of the space freed up from the departures of Chapman, Brandon Belt, Hyun Jin Ryu, and Kevin Kiermaier is already spoken for. Even players with contracts already signed, like Kevin Gaussman, Chris Bassett, and Bo Bichette, will see increases of at least $3 million next season due to the structure of their deals unless there are significant non-tenders, the Jays' projected 2024-26 man payroll is currently expected to sit just under $190 million, $19 million off their 2023 opening day mark. If the budget remains in the same range as last year, free agency can't be the solution for all of the Blue Jays' roster gaps this winter. Challenge 3 the Alec Manoa situation, it's safe to say that Alec Manoa's 2023 season didn't go as planned, the young pitcher had an ERA of 5.87 in 19 starts, was demoted to the minors twice, and was far from the MLB team in the final month of the season and the playoff push. While Manoa willingly reported to the team's Florida complex when he was first demoted in the middle of the season, things didn't go as smoothly when the team sent him back to the minors in early August. The right-hander initially didn't report to the AAA Buffalo team and never pitched for the Bisons. Eventually, the righty's season ended with shoulder injections that the team didn't entirely agree with. Any time a pitcher of his success is demoted, it's a very difficult thing to accept, and he disagreed with the decision, Atkins said after the 2023 season. So that created some frustration. It's almost impossible to say how the Jays can or should handle Manoa's situation this offseason. He hasn't requested a trade, as Atkins confirmed last week, but can we reasonably expect him to come back and perform in 2024? If he's the 2022 Manoa, who had an ERA of 2.24 and nearly won the Cy Young, the Jays need to have a rotation spot available for him. If he's the 2023 Manoa, they need other options, so, Blue Jays fans, as we head into the offseason, the team faces these significant challenges. Stay tuned as we overcome these obstacles and work toward a stronger and more competitive season. Keep an eye out for more updates about the Blue Jays team.